Another great idea inspired by the man Grant Collins. It's the 2nd of March, the world is in conflict and shambles as usual. While this is going on, there's also a big cyber war that is currently raging. And with that, I've decided to conduct an experiment to waste hackers time. What we're going to be doing is somewhat threat hunting, a bit of a deviation from the usual hacking we actually do on this channel. I'm going to be doing that by spinning up two servers as honey pots. Both of these servers are going to be Ubuntu servers or Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it. One is going to have something called endless SSH and one is just going to be a regular SSH port server type thing. The reason why SSH is such a good target is because it doesn't have a mechanism to kick out a user if they try logging too many times with the wrong password and username. That's where endless SSH comes into play. It sends through a banner that's pretty much endless as the name implies and the only way to come out of the banner is to cancel the request manually. So basically you waste the hacker's time by trapping them in that banner state. So in theory, if an automatic script is deployed on our server and it isn't checked on, it'll be stuck there for 30 days. In theory, keep that in mind. Will that actually happen? We shall see. The second server is going to be a regular server listening on port 22 to log failed login attempts. That sounds incorrect, but it is correct. These attempts are all going to fail, of course, because I've moved the regular port 22 to a different port. Standard practice. So this second server is going to keep track of the usernames and passwords used to try and log into the server. And in essence, it's going to give us a good indication of what usernames and passwords are popular nowadays. Apart from logging the username and passwords, it's also going to log in the IP addresses, which we're going to put in a nice graph and see where most of these attackers are coming from. But I doubt that's going to be true because they're probably going to be using VPNs anyway. Anyways, if the world hasn't ended in 30 days, I'll see you then with the results. Until then, Peace.